Outside the Saunderton offices, the pair encounters young people in the crowd. Before stepping inside to speak with the Child Bereavement UK team once they arrive, the Duchess was dressed in a little Peter Pan contrast collar shift dress from High Street Retailer Top Shop, which costs about £60, over a £560 cream will coat by British brand Goat. Clearly unaffected by her incident over the weekend, when she hooked the heel of her stiletto on a grate on a military visit, she finished the ensemble with thick black tights and dizzying shoes. The Duchess changed out of the brown tights and knee-high boots she wore at the Cheltenham races last week in preference of a pair of black LK Bennett suede court shoes and a matching pair of tights while keeping her hair down. The collarless cream will design from Goat, which was a tad roomier around the waist, replaced Kate's customary belted style. William joked, no one brings me flowers. Sue Rankin, a 46-year-old Canadian tourist, sent him a bouquet of roses. Cold hands are all I get. As a trustee and founder patron, Julia Samuel, one of the closest friends of William's late mother, has a special connection to Child Bereavement UK. Princess Diana showed up unexpectedly at the charity's opening in 1994, even though she had decided to retire from public life, to show her support. When Prince William gives his wife a gift of a teddy bear, Kate doesn't arouse rumours by revealing to whom she would give it. Obviously, the visit had a sad side as William spoke about the passing of his own mother when speaking to a group of eight parents who had lost children. Each month, the group gathers to talk about grief-related topics. William and Kate attended one of their meetings and listened as members shared their sons' or daughters' deaths with them. One mother, who only wanted to be addressed by her first name Roz, had lost her son of 28 years two years prior. She praised William by saying, he was really sensitive. I think it takes a lot of courage to enter a scenario like this, he remarked. He could sense our sorrow and pain, and I do wish you didn't have to be here in these circumstances. William made reference to his own circumstances, according to one grieving father who also did not want to be named. He just made mention of losing his own mother. You do realize I've been in similar circumstances, William remarked, the father said. The father said in jest, he made the mistake of saying, I should give you all a hug, and we took him up on it. As she gathered armfuls of bouquets and cuddly teddy bears from well-wishers outside the offices, Kate, who was around five and a half months pregnant, had a broad smile on her face and a healthy blush to her cheeks. Additionally, it trains experts in the field and offers assistance to kids who are having a hard time coping with the death of a relative. The National Treasure said there wasn't much help available for her in 1989, when she lost her own son, William, in a vague.